fun <laughs> fact, Brendan and I used to get a lot of shit from PA about how bad our pallets were packed. So I had got a heads up from Josh, they're like, hey, we're gonna get six pallets back and the guys are already busting your balls that they can pack a pallet better than you. Oh. And I was like, oh really, let's see how they look. Here it is. <laughs> so, Brendan, let's start with that. so these are the pallets we got back. They were like this on the truck. That one will literally fall apart once we unstrap that one. Let's see it happen. All right, what can go wrong? Many, many things. Great. Ready? Yeah. Let's take a look at some of ours. Oh, okay. These are an example of a Massachusetts back pallet. Oh. Uh. So, who packs a better pallet now? funded the campaign and then almost immediately we went and shopped around for machines because we knew like this machine was gonna be the crux of whether or not we could deliver. We purchased this machine because they could get it to us in January and it could do everything that we needed to do. We didn't get the machine in the shop until June. We got it in the shop, they had an abbreviated install, I think. It wasn't making parts when they left. You spent 187 or 250,000 for a machine to do a specific thing. You purchase it, you wait six months longer than it should have got here, and then it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Yep. They know, but they leave it here anyway. So whatever you pay to get them here, in a lawsuit, you're gonna be seeking it back. Fix the goddamn thing, it just makes sense. Hi, Johnny. Hey, How's it going? We're checking some depth gauges out. Oh. I messed this one up. I cut this an inch too short. So the depth of that hole is supposed to be very specific, and it can be anywhere in between that shoulder right there or that shoulder right there. So to do spec checks, it's basically gonna get inserted and then if, if it's within those two shoulders, it passes. So that's what I've been making slowly, <laughs> laboriously, and not all that well since I <laughs> fucked this one up. You're saving us time though, cause that's me not having to go with the calipers. Each hole, you know, both sides. Oh, like actual yeah. measures, just, yes. Yeah, so the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys. Things are going okay, right? Yeah. yeah. I think we're the closest we've been. <laughs> yeah. It's so just, we're almost there. Hope it's been restored. Slowly. 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 <laughs> Maybe not even fully at this point. No. I mean, not, not for me. I'm still skeptical. <laughs> I'm still very skeptical. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's a lot. Because in theory, that's all the machines are We just cut this. Perfectly plumb. Perfectly square, no gouging, very clean tool, much cleaner. Yes. Yeah. So we're running about twice as fast. And that was one pass or you had to do multiple passes? Well, so it's it's multiple diameter passes. Yeah. So we're gonna face it and then we're gonna step in and ten and do the tenon. Yeah. It does take uh, multiple diameter passes, like yeah. circular. Yeah. Could we run it? Let's run it again, so Matt. Yeah. yeah. So we can take. They used to do the, the that first trim pass to clean up the outside, yeah. and then it would like jerk in yeah. and would get that big gouge. Yeah. And you saw how like smooth it was. It kind of just like interpolated in, which is nice. So yeah, looking good. Great. If we set these the same dimension now. Yes. Cool. No complaints from that. From awesome. All right. Yep. Check, 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 check. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's progress. No, we are. At this point, we did not get to run like production parts. And I really was hoping we'd get to that point. So I'm gonna reschedule my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I'm gonna come in in the morning and I'd like to try to watch the machine run. We'll try the parallel processing. Like you need to do that. Zone to zone to zone to zone. Yeah. And while I put the measurements on there and everything was, you know, the, the dial indicator, everything was fine, it's not the same as running parts. So we yeah. need to run some parts. That, yeah. That's what, the problem we were having is like, when we were being nice and gentle and verifying everything, it was great. And then as soon as we were running four zones at a time, Shit yeah. started getting crazy. Makes sense. The flow was great. We were just more getting that repeatability. We're there. It sounds like we had all of the fixes that we need yeah. to get back to parallel processing, which is the big thing. Right. We don't 
Yeah. New Kelly, phone. Kelly T. It doesn't have fun. Actual no, have fun. Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, Kelly T. A real Kelly? It's Kelly things getting out of control. <laughs> we have <laughs> Kelly planning instead of sprint planning and Kelly Mander instead of Charmander. <laughs> Wait, is that the sprint we're in right now? Kelly Mander? <laughs> 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 Sounds like the, Just, uh, if it went backwards. You got like a little Kelly man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kelly space onto a charm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're all going. Where are we going? I don't know. To, to find Nick Nicholas. Oh, Excuse hey, me, Kelly. Hey. We found our man. We found the perp. Kelly. We got something to show you, Kelly. Who oh, do you, Kelly? I'm looking through some important documents right now, Kelly. Oh, that can wait five minutes. Damn. If Doug would actually tell us what's going on, we could maybe no, help. I have no clue. Oh, Doug. I know what this is. Master shelf back. Whoa. Why? Whoa. Wow. The floor is lava. Oh, uh -oh. this metal dice floor? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That, that finish is nice. Much better. Oh. Yeah, Although the, the shield yeah. is a little derpy. Yeah, it's pretty big. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're all covered in oil. Gross. Where'd you get these? Johan dug them up. Johan was sourcing some Fucking place in Johan. PA. He, he gets work Johan. done. He does. Whoa! Whoa! This is what I wanted. The finish is much higher quality. So good. All right, let's start with the first one. Aluminium, which is the lightest by far. You want to yep. hand it around? It Ooh, and I like it's a uh, little iridescent. Oh yeah, it's a bit sparkly. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the finish we asked for was the Apple products. They have like yeah. a really nice matte aluminum finish, which I guess is called vapor bead blasting. Overall, the quality is really good. Oh, we can assemble these right now. If we have a... Oh, give me my little screwdriver. Oh, yeah, some sort of like ninja thing that can be any kind of screwdriver. Yeah. Gee, really. <laughs> Right, this, uh, is the best, what? this is the best screwdriver in that the world. That is a stubby. This comes out, okay. and then it does a socket, and then this whole thing comes out too. It's like number one or number two. Ooh. This thing's great. Hex. Does it have a very small hex? It's a hex. Uh. <laughs> oh man, that's like a one millimeter hex. This is that's gross. nuts. Wait, is that nuts or bolts? Canada squares. Squares, squares are okay. I like squares. Tiny, 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 tiny. I got some tiny, tiny Torx bits. Wow. Whoa, those are small. Oh, I don't even have anything to drive those. That's what in the heck? Perfect. Do you... Oh yeah, that's what in the what? Chuck it into a drill. Perfect. Fucking nailed it. What happened? So Jason, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ian snapped the bit off in the, <laughs> in the screw. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> this is how you can expect to receive your vault. Another quality wormwood product. So what do you what do you want to see next? Work. I want to see cast iron. Cast iron. Black. Yeah, texture. But this could be cool. I think this would patina with like flash rusting and kind of turn like a reddish. Ooh, rust. That's really say, great. This one's pretty heavy. Not the heaviest, but pretty heavy. These are heavy. Heavy They're metal. real heavy. <laughs> we have a brass bronze. and we have a bronze. I don't know which is which. What do you think, Bobby? They're so fucking heavy. These are heavier than the other ones. Which one? Believe it or this not, or I don't think I have a strong opinion. If I ordered bronze or brass and received either of these, I'd be pretty happy. So that's the copper. That is patina ink getting its patina on so what, very aggressively. They're not like patina. Go for stainless. stainless. Yeah. <laughs> or aluminum. Or aluminum. There's ones that'll patina and there's ones that will not. Which the last one, a big seller, <laughs> titanium. Titanium? For the EDC people out there. Ooh. I don't think. I like any of these. No, I, I think these are terrible. I'm I do not, not like I'm them. Not, I'm not in love with this product. It feels very, it's, it's very kind of heavy. boring and basic. And they're very heavy. Maybe that's why I like them, because I'm, I don't game. And I'm like, whoa, this is really inconvenient and <laughs> cumbersome. Yeah. I love it. You don't want to put this in your bag or in your pocket. It's a fucking. Like All right, I'll be. Your, I'll see you guys tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it is a novelty. Yeah. It's Let's no be honest. I kind of think it's. I mean, I like them. I like the finish. I think it's really cool. I think the heft is badass. I think people would like collecting these more than anything. No one's gonna use it and be like, I'll just toss this in my bag. Yeah, they're collector. I think if you are a collector, the idea of having a titanium dice vault is cool. If you're the kind of person that owns titanium dice, you may be in the market for a titanium dice vault. Let's be honest, people that buy the T20 
<laughs> yeah. or buying this dice. Yeah. I was waiting for the tungsten bolt. Oh no. Yeah. We did try and source that. That's let me guess. Pricey. It's pricey <laughs> and finding like the material and the right size and stuff. This is a ton of options too. Like which how many would we actually sell? Like titanium, aluminum. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, these is. look like so similar. Could even get rid of one of those. I would, yeah, I would get rid of that one. What is this? The, the stainless. My idea I was like, like that. very different flavors. So we have patina, patina, no patina, no patina. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So that would be aluminum, bronze, copper, titanium. A really nice spread. Definitely a price spread as well. Did Johan have any luck sourcing that, that other one I wanted? Hmm? Humanium? Uh, Humanium? It's, yeah. it's humans? <laughs> Melted down guns. Melted down guns. Leading party liberal. Right? It's called cool. Humanium? Yeah. yeah. Weird. They like go and decommission guns and melt them into an alloy. That's amazing. I love that. A gun. What? Why? That's cool. Kitchy. <laughs> we put bone in our Halloween vaults and you're gonna draw the line of guns? <laughs> Come on. Who wants it? Is it the people that don't like guns or people that like guns? Like guns. All of them. Both. 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 Yeah, like that's the best that's part. what's so great about it is like people who don't like guns are like, fuck it, I'll buy this so it's not used for a gun. Yeah. And then people who like guns are like, wait, this is a gun made of guns. <laughs> Pretty dope. <laughs> the thing I worry about is like, this is going to destroy your dice. What do you mean it's gonna destroy your dice? There's, gonna be, there's gonna be foam in it. You'll foam. We're gonna like Catch on dice. Oh. They'll chip gemstone dice. They'll scratch resin dice. Let's test it. Do we have some it. dice? Crush it. <laughs> oh, is that gemstone? Yeah. Oh my God, you're gonna, you're gonna. Oh no. There's not even any foam in there or anything. Oops. Oh no. It's impressive. No, the glass shouldn't no? scratch. No. Oh, it's great. Processing it? Yes. All right, yeah, hey, I'll take that. We tested a couple of pieces. We did a, like five, and they are all good. Monday's and gonna be a good day. Yes. That's, right, that's hey, how hey. we're we're leaving Friday thinking Monday's gonna be a great day for us. Hell yeah. No yeah. more nightmares. <laughs> <laughs>